In today's video, I am going to be breaking down Emoni Bates and his basketball shooting form. He is a pretty good shooter at the high school level, and everyone is assuming that he's going to be one of the top three draft picks in the NBA in a couple of years. So let's get down, let's check out how Emoni Bates shoots the basketball. Okay, so the first thing that we like to look at is, of course, the base. And... We're going to start with the knees, and as we can see, the actual body, the hips, the knees are pretty well square towards the basket. They're all pointing that way. Obviously, the left leg is going to be slightly back because he's a right-handed shooter. You always want to have your right leg, your right foot, in front of your left by at least a toes length. Here, we can actually see it's about a whole foot length of length difference and he is of course looking at the rim from there when he gathers the ball he tends to gather the ball at his waist and he does not dip the ball he goes straight up into a set point he has a very quick transition from the gather to the actual shots and set point but we can actually see that his shoulders are in line with the backs of his knees which are in line with his toes so in a sense he is a pretty balanced shooter if somebody was to hit him while he was in the air he is not going to be affected all that much when he goes up into a set point there is very little movement on his elbow which is very good you want to have the least amount of movement as possible which will allow you to stay consistent when he goes to release the ball his elbow originally is at about forehead height however he tends to drop his arms very quickly and we can see that in a lot of different clips like this one where he drops those hands extremely fast. The only issue I see with this is if he was to release and drop his arms when he still has the ball touching his fingertips then that could affect the actual shot. However if that's not the case and it doesn't seem to be the case because he tends to hit a lot of threes then there won't be an issue but if he wanted to work on cons consistency he would keep his actual release up into the air and he would be able to keep that follow through which could really create a higher percentage shot. Now I really like this angle because they zoom out slightly and we can actually see that he has a full foot ahead of his left foot which will essentially give him more power. He also brings his knees together in a lot of different clips which will tell me that he actually works on the outside of his thighs a bit more than the inside of his thighs. Now this doesn't mean that it's going to be taking away a lot of his power but there are some trainers who will say that by bringing your knees together like this it could create and cause injuries. I'm not too sure if that's something that I agree with but it is something to keep a note on. Now his set point does seem to be on the right side of his forehead and at obviously forehead height. From there we can also see that he does have a gap between his palm and the ball which is fantastic. And then we really want to look at that thumb flick and even though there is a slight thumb flick because his hand does tend to move forward with the ball, I wouldn't personally classify that as a thumb flick. We can also see that he has a 45 degree angle on the elbow, so basically if you go 90 it's a lot faster of a release, but for taller players like Amoni Bates who are quite lanky, you really do want to go 45 because of course if you start going at that 90, of course if he was to bring it down here, because his arm length is so long, other than, like, unlike people like myself who are six foot two, people who are six foot nine and lanky like Amoni Bates, their arms would be so far out in front that it would be so much easier for the defenders to block them. So by bringing it into that 45, it's going to make it harder for that defender to block that shot. And if he was to even release that ball just a bit higher, so if his release arm was like right there instead of here, you would also see more arc and a heck of a lot harder shot to block as well. We also see that he does have a soft release. He doesn't have the hard release like a Michael Jordan. He has a soft release, which will allow him to get more arc, very similar to how Steph Curry gets arc in his shot. He does also like to step into his shot. Now, if you also like to step into your shot, definitely something to pay attention to is kicking that right foot down if you're dribbling with your left hand, or if you're dribbling with your right hand, you would want to kick the other foot down. The, the reason behind this is it's just simple for 
when you're shooting the ball, you want to basically kick the opposite foot down from with the hand that you're dribbling in most cases. Now, for me, I like to cross over from my right to my left and then kick my right foot down. But for Amoni Bates, it doesn't really matter. We've seen this in multiple different clips where he can be dribbling from his left and then he can kick that right foot down or he can be dribbling with his right and kick the left foot down. Either way, I would like to see him have more of a follow through, but at the same time more of a follow through may make his shot too long, which is why he tends to release quicker. However, if he was to release higher and keep the follow through, that would basically even out the the length versus or the distance on the shot versus the arc. And I think both ways will work. I don't think that there's anything wrong with his shot. It's just if he wanted to have a shot that may have a higher percentage chance of bouncing into the rim, then a higher arcing shot would be able to help him with that. But if he's not having that kind of an issue, and we can see that he has pretty good arc anyways, I don't think that there's anything really too much that we need to change with a shot at all. I wouldn't change anything as long as he's shooting over 35 to 40%. Really, you don't really need to change anything. At that point, it would just be practice or maybe even touch around the rim. I hope that you've actually liked this video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe. I'll see you guys again next time.